and today I'm going to be doing a super fun video that everyone always loves to watch and it's going to be my makeup collection and I've never filmed this before I've tried to film it and it was a fail and I'm like before I never had like enough makeup to actually film a makeup collection but now I do which is kind of sad but um I do now so I really wanted to film this video and I know these are always super popular so yeah I really wanted to do this video and it's super quick and it's like 6 o'clock and I've got school tomorrow and I'm like oh my gosh I need to do a video so yeah this is just quick and easy so yeah and also I just want to throw a disclaimer out there I'm not trying to brag in any way shape or form of doing my makeup collection these videos are always super super popular so I just wanted to do it for you guys and as I said it's a really quick video I can just do and I know people always love these so I just wanted to film this for you guys and yeah now that said let's get into the makeup collection okay so this is my makeup collection it's kind of an overview in my room I just have a desk and then that's just where I keep my makeup. I used to keep it on my dresser over there, but I'm too short for that and I don't really like to stand. I don't know, I'm just weird. But yeah, so I just have it in this desk so I can sit. And this is kind of an overview. It's kind of a crammed, I, I know it's messy, don't, don't judge. But yeah, so if you guys want me to do a room tour, I can definitely do that too. But uh, for now, I'm just doing a makeup collection. So this is just that. Ignore me in the mirror. Hi, that's that's my hand. Um, weird. So this is just an overview of my desk. If you guys want me to do a room tour, I'll explain like this part and like this part of the desk. But for now, I'm just focusing this part because that's where my makeup is. But starting off with this part, first over here, I keep a bunch of like tissues here so I can like... Whenever I make a mistake, I can just like wipe it off and it'll be really easy. And I don't like to go over there and get tissues because that takes a long time when I'm like rushing in the morning because I only have like five minutes to do my makeup. But yeah, I just keep a bunch of tissues here and you can see there's like eyeliner, lip stuff, foundation, and stuff there. And then in this bucket right here, I have no idea where I got this like basket thingy. Um, you can probably find one of these anywhere. I don't even really like it because it doesn't even match my room. I would like a different one, but for now, that's just what I use because it's, like, perfect for the amount that I use. And in this bucket is just my everyday makeup, so it's really perfect to just, like, have it in there. And in my everyday makeup, I just have regular stuff like a BB cream, this is the CoverGirl one, Fit Me powder, and then I have... Lots of different mascaras in here because I change my mascara like every single day. I have a baby lips, some um, brow gel, blush, my eyelash curler, more eyebrow stuff, concealer, and then my everyday wet and wild eyeshadow palette, and then foundation just in case I need more cover than the, the BB cream is. And then my Real Techniques beauty blender dupe thingy that works really good. More... Mascara. Do I keep every single mascara in here? And then an eyeshadow primer. That's just the stuff I use every single day. And then I have a moisturizer right here. I don't keep it in there. I use a moisturizer every single day, but I sometimes also use it at night. And sometimes it'll be like in the bottom here. And I just like to have it there. And it matches like with the blue buckets. So, yeah. And that's just the clean and clear moisturizer. And then here I have a little mirror to do my makeup. I used to have a mirror over there, but then it just broke this morning and I cracked it. And so now I have bad luck, which I'm sad about. But this is just the mirror I do so I can kind of like put it up close to my face. So I can get like more close mirror. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I usually have it over here because in the morning this lamp gives me my light to do my makeup. But when it's like daytime like this, you can see all like the fingerprints on it. So in daytime, I put it over here. So if you're wondering, you probably don't even care, but yeah. And then over here, I just have two EOSs so I can like moisturize my hands in the morning. I have some nail polishes, nail filer. This is where I keep my brushes when I'm like traveling or whatever. Oh, it fell. And then right here, I just keep this EOS because... 
it doesn't fit in here and I don't use it every day so I just keep it right there and it's kind of like cute decoration so look I'm like moving my camera all around sorry about that but now getting on to the whole amount of the makeup this first here I'll start over here this first drawer right here is where I do my face makeup because this is how I move along so it's face makeup eyeshadow and then like mascara and eyeliner then lip stuff that's just like how I do my makeup in like that order so starting over here is on my face makeup so there's just this random moisturizer from a hotel sorry it's like dark and bad lighting because my hand's gonna be in the way it's gonna make it darker but I have a moisturizer foundation it's by NYX covergirl concealer NYX ah, I'm like not even in the frame covergirl um, NYC cover stick my bobber elf tinted moisturizer a completely empty um, fit me powder and then I have the Maybelline like dream loomy concealer and then I have this like green concealer if I ever have a really nasty pimple and then I have this elf zip zapper it doesn't really work so that's why it's like down in the bottom and then I have my Maybelline fit me that's too dark so I use for like a light little contour and that's pretty much it. I have this e.l.f. concealer, but it doesn't work. So I never use it. And then more random concealers. And then moving over here. And also, I got all these buckets from Target. They're in the $1 section, and I really like them. But they're starting to get too small because I'm getting too much makeup. So now moving on to the eyeshadow section. I have this Physician's Formula Nude Little eyeshadow palette it's just shimmery and then I have a bunch of little kid makeup that you get when you're like two so I have this one when I'm trying to do like a colorful look and then I have like these shimmers that me and my friend play around we just like we all of his friends when we were asleep over we kind of just like like put it all over her face and it's not good and it gets its breakouts but it's fun and then I have this elf one elf baked eyeshadow and then I have a um Maybelline color tattoo. This is in bold gold. I really like this one. It was really pretty for Christmas, but that's over now, so I never really wear it. But it's still good. I want to get more of those. More little like colorful eyeshadow. This is an e.l.f. one, and this is like ah, it's their e.l.f. brightening eyeshadow, and I got it in the color um, Lux. I only have like one hand. This is the hand. The other hand's holding the camera. So I can't like focus it, so sorry about that. But I love those colors for fall. They're like the perfect fall little look. And next fall, if you guys want me to do that look using that palette, I can totally do that. And then I have more like random shimmery eyeshadows. So yeah. And then this next drawer, I keep, this is kind of a random one because I don't have like one for blush because it doesn't like fit. So I keep like everything in here. So I keep some blush. This is an e.l.f. HD blush, which I didn't like, but people always say it's so good, but I didn't like it, so I don't know. But I got two. Okay. And then I have this e.l.f. baked blush that's more like a highlighter. And then an e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer, like, powder duo set thingy. And then an e.l.f. individual baked blush. Not baked. It's just regular. And this is in the color, um... Mellow Mauve, and it's too small. But I really like that. Then I realized it was breaking me out, so I stopped using that. And then I have an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. This random eyeliner that I saw rubbed off. And then this e.l.f. like eyeshadow and then eyeliner duo. This side has like the eyeshadow, like it's an eyeshadow stick. And it's really cool because it's like a smoky, smoky color. So if I ever want to do a smoky eye, this is what I like to use as a base, and it's really good. And then that eye, eyeliner, I like, I completely ruined it where you can't even open it. The eyeliner spills everywhere, so that's bad. And then I have this e.l.f. lengthening and defying mascara, but it's really awful, so definitely don't recommend that. And then I have this e.l.f., sorry, everything's e.l.f. Like, before I started really getting into makeup, I just got everything e.l.f., so there's like everything e.l.f., I... I probably said that three times, but whatever. So there's this e.l.f. like eyebrow treat and tame duo thingy. And I used this for the longest time, but then I stopped because it like wasn't my color. And I was just like, this actually doesn't look good. And then I have this e.l.f. like clear mascara. 
These are, this is the third one I got because there's one right there and I have two. I really like this stuff. And then I have this like Realmo Scandalized thingy. I don't really know what it is, but it got like ruined and disgusting, so yeah. And then I have another e.l.f. liquid liner. Oh, and then I have this random blush, one of those like kids blush, so yeah. Now moving over here, this last one I keep all my lip products, so this I'm just going to like take out because they kind of spill everywhere. But yeah, um, I'm going to sit down because my legs are getting tired. Wow, I'm like really pathetic. Okay, I know. Stop judging. So this is a lot of e.l.f. stuff too. I just don't, don't judge. So I have this e.l.f. gloss, this e.l.f. Um, lip stain. I have two of those, two colors. And then I have Elf Lipstick. This one's like a really super crazy color. And I like messed it up. So yeah. I never wear that one. I didn't think it was going to be that intense. And then this one. It's Elf, another Elf Moisturizing Lipstick. These are actually really good. This color I really like. It's in Pink Minx. And then I have this like little random lip gloss. I have no idea where that's from. And then I have a bunch of like kid lip glosses. And then these two are from... Bath and Body Works. Ugh. This one's like marshmallow cream. And this one is whipped vanilla. So those are pretty good. And then I have a bunch of baby lips. This one's an electro, another electro. And then there's this like, I don't even know what brand this is. It's like a CAC Week. I can't even pronounce it. And then I have an Elf Extra Lip Gloss. More baby lips. It's baby lips. And then I have a um, cover girl, not cover girl, a Maybelline, um, like, what is it called? Uh, sensational, lip sensational, color sensational. And this is in blushing beige. I really like that, but the color is a little bit too light for me, but whatever. So yeah, that's where I just keep my majority of my makeup in these little bins. And as I said, they're from Target, but I don't know where this is. And I have like these two have polka dots. This one has like little triangles and they're like blue. And that one has like zigzag and they're all cute. They're all like blue. And they kind of match my walls trying to find that, but my walls are like kind of an ugly color. So, and then, but that matches it. So I guess it's all good. And then... Back here, I have one more that's also from Target, but this one's pink, so I try to hide it because it's, like, not the correct theme. And I just keep all my brushes in here. So there's a bunch of e.l.f. brushes because the ones from the um, Studio line are really good. And then I have these from, like, Studio 35 Beauty. And then I have random ones, random. I have a lot of random brushes, so, yeah. And then back here, I keep my two, like, palettes that don't fit in these things. So I have my Maybelline The Nudes palette, which I like some of the colors, but some of them I really hate. And then there's this Claire's, like, Natural Eye palette, which is a pretty good palette if you want to create, like, a brown eye, like, close to the naked palette. But they're not exact. It's not an exact dupe. But yeah, they're still pretty good. And then I have these little mascara and shadow shields. I bought, I accidentally bought, bought three of them, which I really regret. Um, because they're like three dollars each, and they literally don't do anything. They don't even fit in my eye, so that's sad. And then right here, I never talked about that. These is just a destroyed palette. I don't know why I haven't thrown it away. Never got the time. Maybe I should do that. And then this Fit Me powder that I was using all summer. But then it started to get too dark, so I got the other one, which is a different color. And, yeah. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's just my makeup collection. I'll definitely be doing this again once I get even more makeup and I, like, change how I'm going to do it. Because this summer, I'm moving to a different room and it's going to be a completely different, like, makeup storage and collection kind of video. So, it'll be completely different. So, I'll de definitely be doing another video. So, see that. You'll see that again this summer but yeah so that's just an overview of like my makeup collection hope you guys enjoyed and yeah so yeah that was my makeup collection i hope you guys enjoyed as i said before i'm not trying to brag in any way these videos are just super popular so i really hope you guys enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it 
And also, thank you so much for watching, and please like, as I said, and subscribe, and comment video requests down below, because I'm always up for that. And also make sure to follow my social media links that are down below also. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!